which of the following oxo acids of sulfur has oo that is peroxy linkage students in this question we are given with four oxo acids of sulfur and we have to identify that which particular oxo acid has peroxy linkage and for that we have to draw the structures of the given compounds and for that first of all we will be reading out the options number 1 h2so4 which is sulfuric acid number 2 h2so5 which is peroxo monosulfuric acid number 3 which is h2s2o7 pyrosulfuric acid and the last option is h2so3 which is sulfurous acid so let's draw the structures number 1 h2so4 here s has two double bonds o then oh again oh number 2 h2so5 so s double bond o double bond o oh o o h here we can see that there is a peroxy linkage so that means the correct answer is obviously h2so5 but let's draw the structures of the remaining oxo acids we have h2s2o7 so s double bond o double bond o then o s double bond o double bond o oh oh and the last is h2so3 so here s double bond o oh 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 that means the correct answer is option number b h2so5 that is peroxo monosulfuric acid moving to the next question students elimination reaction of 2 bromobutane to form butene is beta elimination reaction follows hoffman rule dehydrohalogenation reaction dehydration reaction the options are a c and d only b and c only a b and d only a and c only students for this question we have to understand the mechanism that takes place during the elimination of 2 bromobutane to form butene let's start so first of all we are given with 2 bromobutane that is ch3 ch br ch2 ch3 this carbon is alpha carbon since the halogen is attached to this carbon and the carbon next to this carbon are beta carbon i am taking this as beta and this as beta dash now this oh minus that is the base will have to attack the hydrogen atom of the beta carbon but here we have two beta carbons so student this oh minus will preferentially attack on that hydrogen which gives more substituted alkene that will be this in this case let's draw the structure of two bromobutane ch2 i am taking h here ch br ch2 h here and then ch3 this is the alpha carbon since halogen is attached to this carbon and we have two beta carbon i'm writing this as beta this as beta dash now oh minus will attack either on this hydrogen or on this hydrogen now since the attack on this hydrogen that is the hydrogen which is attached to beta carbon will give more substituted alkene as a result the major product will be obtained when the oh minus attacks on this hydrogen so br minus will be eliminated and the products of formed will be ch3 ch double bond ch ch3 and the side product will be br minus plus h2o students in this reaction we can clearly see that the hydrogen from the beta position to the halogen atom has been eliminated as a result we call it as beta elimination since more substituted alkene has been formed we call it as sezef sezef product also the hydrogen and halogen are removed from a molecule we call it as d hydrohalogenation reaction that means the correct answer for this question is a and c only that means beta elimination follows hoffman rule no this follows sezef rule 
moving to next dehydrohalogenation correct and dehydration reaction no dehydration reaction are those in which water molecule is removed that means the correct answer is option number d moving to next question students identify the correct statements from the following students in this question we are given with four statements and we have to identify the correct one so let's start number one co2 solid is used as refrigerant for ice cream and frozen food student this is a correct statement as co2 is known as dry ice moving to next the structure of c60 that is buckminster fullerene contains 26 member drinks and 12 five member drinks this is also a correct statement moving to next zsm5 a type of zeolite is used to convert alcohols into gasoline this is also a correct statement Moving to the last statement, CO that is carbon monoxide is fairly soluble in water. Student, this is an incorrect statement as CO that is carbon monoxide is almost insoluble in water. That means the correct statements are A, B and C. So, we can find out the correct answer. That means the correct answer is option number D. Moving to the next question, let us read it. An alkene on ozonolysis gives acetone as one of the product. The structure of the alkene is. Students in this question, we are given with four alkenes and we have to identify that alkene which on ozonolysis gives acetone as one of the product. And for this question, first of all, we need to know the structure of acetone. So, acetone is CH3 C double bond O CH3. That means an alkene which has this group CH3 C CH3 double bond this group will give acetone as one of the product on ozonolysis. Among the given options only option B has this group. That means one thing is very clear that the only alkene which gives acetone as one of the product on ozonolysis is option B. But let us find out the reaction that occurs during ozonolysis. So, the alkene is CH2 CH double bond C CH3 CH3. On reaction with O3, ozonide is formed which is, I am writing benzene as pH. So, CH2 CH then OC. CH3, CH3, O, O, this. Now, this on reaction with zinc water, this bonds will be break. And the final products so obtained will be pH, CH2, C, double bond O, H plus CH3, C, double bond O, CH3. That means it is very clear the correct answer is option number B. Moving to the next question students. Dumas method is used for the estimation of the options are nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus or halogens. So students this question is again a very easy question. We need to know that Dumas method is used for the estimation of nitrogen. And there is one more method which is used for the estimation of nitrogen that is Geldahl's method. So, the correct answer for this question is nitrogen and also you need to know that for the estimation of sulphur and halogens, Carrier's method is used. That means the correct answer is option number A. Moving to the next question students. 